Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is Vlogmas Day 7, I do believe, and I'm coming to you from in the craft room, as you can tell. It's uh, trying to rain out there. I tried to beat it. I had to run to town and uh, get my Miss Piggles a few things, and and as I was coming home, I noticed the windshield was getting uh, misty rain on it, and I thought, well, maybe I could beat it, and I, I didn't succeed. <laughs> So anyway, and I shocked my husband because he couldn't believe I was only gone for like an hour. Usually whenever I go to town, I stay gone eh, probably sometimes six hours. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> but anyhow, um, I, uh, but I am going to go out and I am going to get my walk. I will walk in the rain. I just didn't want to get my stuff wet. But anyway, I uh, want to get up here and share with you guys what color uh, we got going next in the blanket and how it's starting to look so far. And for those of you that are new, what it is, uh, me and Ashley from Stitching Ain't Easy, hi Ashley, are doing a surprise blanket where her family is helping her um, by them picking out the colors and she don't know what it is until, uh, you know, she reveals it to us. And, it, you know, it's a surprise to her and to us. And so me and my hubby are doing it. Since it's just me and him, we do have pets, but I don't think they're going to cooperate. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, he's been doing a really good job coming in and picking out the colors, so we'll see how he did today. And I'm super excited because I'm I'm just anxious to see what color he picked out. And so, and I have them put away where I'm not tempted to go looking whenever I go to pick up the, because, you know, he has to look at it to see, you know, he's staring at it and trying to figure out what he thinks would be good next. And so... I always tell him to make sure whenever you put that in that box, you put it way over there. That way I'm not tempted to see what's left in that, in that bucket. So he's been doing that. He's been hiding it from me. I'm telling you, I'm like a kid with candy, you know. I go in and sneak around. <laughs> At least I did when I was a kid to get candy. Because I remember my dad used to buy those, uh, he'd buy those chocolate covered cherries. And, um. Uh, or not the chocolate covered cherries. I don't know what I'm thinking. The malt, uh, malted milk balls. You you know those that's in the little, looks like a milk carton. Well, those have been around forever. And my dad would buy those and he would have them sitting next to his chair. And when he'd go off to work and I'd come home from school, I knew where those things were. And I'd go over and pick them up and I'd kind of open the lid and I'd sneak some out. <laughs> I need to give me some of them. I, I need to get some for me this month since this is my cheat month. And I need to have some. I, I should have got me some today when I was at Walmart. I, I didn't think about it. I'll, I'll go back and get me some later. Just not today. But anyhow, uh, I'm anxious to see. I kind of forgot where I was at now. But I'm anxious to see what color he's got in this box. So let me show you what I got going. I decided, like I said, to go five across. So, yeah. This is the first one. And then... We gotten this far, and I think I'm thinking that it's looking really pretty. Well, I I think it is pretty. <laughs> it's all scrappy because I wanted it to be scrappy. Now this is a pay for pattern, and I'll put a link down below if you'd like to go check it out and maybe make you one. Because this is my second one. The first one I did in the mauve, and uh, I think it was like an off white and a green color. It was for my daughter, but I wanted this. I wanted to go back and do it scrappy kind of retro I guess you could say and then I'm going back with the mistletoe the red heart super saver mistletoe and I'm just single crocheting because that is the easiest and I'm all about simple <laughs> and so that's the first row and now we're starting on our second row so I'm going to set that right there and here we are now this is the one we got uh, yesterday in the box no, you know, remember how this one was. I thought he tricked me on that one because it's the same color as the box on the inside. So this is a variegated, I'm going to scoot up. I do this every time. I just don't want to land on my vent here. <laughs> but this is a uh, variegated uh, mainstay yarn. I believe it's called multi-blue. It's very pretty. And so, and I'm using uh, mainstay white, mainstay red, and just switching it every other one. So the next one's going to have a red next to whatever color that tree is going to be. So let's see what we have in the box. Now I'm using a five and a half millimeter hook. And he's putting it in this box right here because 
I think I bought that at the Dollar Tree last year. I thought I had to have it, and then I didn't know what I was going to do with it. But now i got a good reason doing this. So I'm going to show you guys what's in here first before I take a look at it. So here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what it is. Oh, oh, it's pink. Pink. First I thought it was orange, but it's pink. <laughs> so we're going to set this over here. The next one's going to be pink next to it. Well, let's see what's the color of, that's going to be above this one. Make sure I didn't roll my chair on it. Oh, that would have been bad. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Okay, it's going to be the variegating. So this one's going to sit underneath there. I think. Yeah, that's it. And then these two. I don't know if I can do this. I'm not that coordinated. <laughs> oh, well, you get the picture. This is going to be underneath that one. So that's going to be really pretty. And it will have the, it'll have the red right next to it. And then the white. So that's what I'm going to do. Go in there and tonight I finished my cookies off last night. Yep, I finally finished them. So tonight I am going to start on the Rolos. <laughs> and I'm going to get those going tonight. So super excited about that too. So I'll be watching some YouTube, eating my Rolos, and then working on this blanket, getting it done. And you guys, y'all need to go check out Ashley's. If you're new, go check out Ashley. Uh, I'll put a link down below where you can look at her beautiful blanket. I do. I absolutely love that blanket. It's so pretty. And she's actually, well, I don't want to uh, spoil it. I'll let you go look. <laughs> but what she's putting in next, I'm super excited to see how it's going to look. I love the idea of all the different uh, ways that she's going to be, you know, doing this blanket. I'm super excited about that, Ashley. It's going to be, it is, it's beautiful. So anyhow. Let's put this over here. I'm just going to set that there and let the gingerbread people um, babysit it. Now, the other thing that I'm working on, I, you know, like I mentioned, I kind of want to work on something that I don't have to think about. And so I decided to do me, let me see if I can grab this without it rolling off, a scrappy corner to corner blanket. And what I do is I've got a little laundry thing here that's full of stuff like this scrap balls and just skeins of yarn and i just reach in there and i just grab whatever color and so i started the other day i had a little bag full of little bitty scraps and so i just started doing that and i i love doing that it, it's so relaxing and and i enjoy it very much and it helps me to relax big time before i end up falling asleep <laughs> so yesterday I'm trying to remember. I think I remember mentioning these colors. So I think I was, yeah, I was right here with that orange color. And so I put in a few last night. I haven't touched it today because I've been gone. And so we're right here with this color. And that's a Dollar Tree yarn that I picked up one day right there. And I think it's looking so pretty. And I love this so much. And so... Anyhow, I, I can't wait to get in there and, you know, work on this some more. And I'm using a five millimeter hook on this one. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Those colors just make me happy. So, anyhow, that's what I got going there. Um, I'm going to work on that. And... Oh, I about did it again. I tell you, close quarters right here. I still haven't got my shelf up. I'm going to see maybe he'll help me with it today. He's actually in there right now fixing to eating something. So maybe when he gets done, he'll come in here and he'll uh, help me put that shelf up. We'll see. Actually, I need to go get my walk first before it does start pouring down rain. <laughs> I don't mind walking in the rain. I've walked in the rain, the snow. I've, I've walked in mud. and You know, the only thing I will not go walking in are storms. And when I hear lightning outside, I'm... I'm beelining it back into the house. I don't mess with that. I actually got shocked one evening. I was uh, plugging my phone in. And about that time when I took the end of the, the charger to plug it into my phone, lightning hit and it shocked me. And I thought, okay, well, I've learned my lesson on that one. <laughs> so anytime I hear lightning outside, I am, I'm gone. I'm running to the house. And so, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that part. And tornadoes. I will not go walking 
hey, I'll, I'll walk all right. I'll take off running if there was a tornado around. <laughs> I am uh, blessed to be able to go over to my neighbors. They have a storm shelter. And I am absolutely petrified of uh, tornadoes. I've been in one before. And yeah, so whenever we have tornado warnings that are, you know, right up on us and stuff, I usually go straight over there. We do and stay there until it's all gone. So, yeah. But anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off here and quit my uh, yakking. <laughs> and I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day. And go check out Ashley. Check out that beautiful blanket that her and her family are all putting together. It is. It's gorgeous. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed evening. And I'll be chatting at you tomorrow on Vlogmas Day 8.